hi guys welcome to my channel lush gardener so today i decided that i will get rid of all the flower stalks or the bloom stalks from my uh, aguides and champagnes so this is my echeveria champagne so uh, i thought it's best to get rid of the bloom stalk because any which ways it's no use for me i do not uh, create hybrids or i do not grow succulents from seeds and uh, the worst part about having the bloom stalks or the flower stalks is basically they tend to pull out all the energy and uh, you know the nutrients from the mother plant any which is i personally do not use any fertilizers so it's better for me to cut them off because otherwise uh, my mother plant is going to turn very weak because uh, it tends to take out a lot of energy from the mother plant so uh, i usually do not let them uh, stay on the succulent for a longer period of time but this year i thought that i'll leave them for some time if i want to collect the seeds but then i just uh, thought it's not a very good idea so i started to take out all of those uh, bloom stalks so in this way uh, the mother plant can conserve that energy for itself any which way is right now during winters a lot of the echeverias tend to go dormant but i'm not very sure what exactly is happening in my city because all of my echeverias are blooming uh, during this period of time when it's supposed to be uh, the dormant season but anyways if not seeds i will at least collect the uh, leaves from the uh, bloom stalk because even these tend to put out or get propagated so i'll probably take out the leaves later on because right now it's a little difficult for me to take them out uh, because i'm holding the phone in one hand but i'm very surprised because as i said that they are supposed to be dormant but in my city i'm not very sure a lot of my uh, Echeverias are blooming. Even my Graptoverias and Graptopetalums are also blooming. Uh, let me give you another look as well. You can see I have taken out as many uh, bloom stalks as possible. I am also trying to take out as much as uh, dry leaves from the succulents. But if I'm going to show you that they are still uh, blooming, there are still a lot of new buds coming up. So I'm not very sure. Probably they are very confused with the environment, just like we are confused because sometime back it was raining you can see here there is another bloom that is coming up and uh, there are a couple more when i was just doing a check you can see there's another one over here this is my uh, goides lipstick and you can see there is another bloom coming up so almost uh, i think out of uh, the 15 i think almost 10 of them are putting out a lot of blooms not one bloom but uh, double or triple blooms on one uh, mother plant and that is going to pull out a lot of energy from them so i do not want to take a chance here again you can see uh, this one is another aguides it is also putting out a uh, bloom so i thought i'll just get rid of them uh, and let the succulent focus on itself let the mother plant focus on itself and start to grow so i'm going to try and take out as much as dry leaves as possible when i'm uh, doing the check because a lot of them have uh, dry leaves i actually did not come to this side of the terrace and these succulents were just uh, you know relaxing but i noticed today there were a lot of blooms so i thought i'll get rid of them and in the meantime i can also do a little bit of maintenance of uh, getting out uh, the dry leaves now all of the succulents are doing quite well over here i haven't seen any issues a lot of uh, new aguides were introduced over here so that's why you can see some of them have that little bit of burns which uh, came in uh, from the sellers so there were some that did not have uh, good coloration but now they are getting a good amount of light so there is a good amount of coloration on them but uh, overall uh, i'm really in love with aguides i know i have done a lot of mistakes previously uh, never ever keep your aguides in shade or do not keep them in less light they will immediately start to rot so i started keeping them out in full direct sunlight like morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after which there is indirect bright light and they have been doing quite well so i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting